Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you today how to make some uh, coho lures that have been really working well for me. Uh, they look like this. They're spinner blades with a marabou tail. This is a uh, bullet weight that's been dipped in the Protec powder paint. You can also use the uh, lead core pencil lead. It does the same thing. If you want it, it looks like that. But you got to make sure you get the hollow core. So you can slide it over your paper clip. Yep, cheap, cheap, cheap. First, let's start out by uh, taking a coffee stir, just the regular red coffee stirs, and I slip it over a paper clip that's been bent in half in my vise. Take my thread and my bobbin. Wrap a few wraps, cut off the tag. I've got some pink marabou, strung marabou from Cabela's. I think it ran me about uh, five or six dollars for this, quite a bit. Take a uh, finger full, you don't need a whole lot. Cut it off. It's just like tying a fly, really. Put it on your straw. Wrapped around. Do basically a whip finish. Now at this point if you want you could probably add a little super glue or not depending on your preference. I don't really think it's needed but it will last longer. Then go ahead and trim off the excess fuzz around the tip here. I've been fishing the last couple days and doing pretty good with this particular lure, so thought I'd show it to you all and let you guys try it out if you want. Trim off the back of the straw, trim off the tip, trim off the back, and then you have your tail. And this, uh, you know, a coffee stir will make three or four. So I've got three of them already made. Then you take your paper clip, basically you straighten it out. But leave the small end. So straighten that all out, but leave this part slide your hook on there and then you'll wrap that to where you have something like this and then you take your tail that you just made you slide that over it and what that does really is it uh, hides the hook for one and it slows the lure down in the water it gives it resistance but the blade still has just enough to spin so it almost makes it better for the uh, the fish to grab onto it because it puts it right in front of it. Take your bullet weight that you've powder coated, slide that on. Take a bearing or a bead, slide that over the top. And then you take your blade, slide that over the top. Usually I try and use blades that are the exact same length as the body. Or in this case it's a little, little longer but it doesn't interfere with the hook. Now on this one, with the lead, the pencil lead, it's exactly the same length. 
you take your round nose pliers, bend another loop at the top, trim off, trim off the excess. And you have yourself a really great coho lure. Now I know in my other videos I pretty much went over how to make the spinner blades, the spinner lures. But I'll just show you real quick how to do the uh, powder coating on the, uh, the lead weight. So here is a bullet weight. This is a half ounce. They are $1.50 at Walmart. And you get... seven in a bag for a buck and a half. You take your powder powder paint and just kind of make sure it's nice and loosened up. Take your lighter and you want to make sure it's good and hot. Not too hot because it'll what it does is kind of melt the powder paint but if it's not hot enough it doesn't coat well. It'll be kind of a dull a dull finish so just kind of get it nice and warm, about 10 seconds. Dip it in your paint. And what happens is it starts to uh, melt on there and it gets really shiny. And that's how you know if you got a good heat. If for some reason it's powdery looking, just inside the bottom of the blue part, not the top part because it will turn it black. Just uh, do that a little bit. See how that really makes it shine even better. Technically, you're supposed to put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees, but uh, what that does is it kind of bakes the enamel on there. But you know you're going to lose it, so why go through all the trouble? So now I have. Uh, three finished lures and I've got enough to make two more so thanks for watching watching and good luck fishing and I hope uh, if you try making this that you have as much luck with them as I have